the Great Basin, this area here, was central to the development of the um, equestrian culture among American Indians. Uh, my people, the Ute Indians, acquired the horse from the Spanish right around the year 1630, right around that period there. And um, most historians uh, believe that the horse was traded <laughs> out through the, um, through the plains and um, among the Comanche and Kiowa, the Ute, Comanche, Kiowa, then on up to the Omahas, on up to the Lakotas and Cheyennes, Arapaho, the tribes up in Wyoming, further north. The wild horse may be a symbol of the West, but it is not native to the terrain. Brought to the Americas by the Spanish in the 1500s, it is a feral species, an animal that escaped domestication and populated the new land. But before Spaniards, before Ute and Navajo, before even bison and antelope wandered the American plains, a short, three-toed ancestor of the modern horse roamed the prehistoric continent. How this ancient horse became extinct in the Americas is unknown, but before it did so, it traveled across the land bridge and spread throughout the world. To the Russian steppes, where the stout, hardy barb carried the Mongols across Asia. To Europe, where the immense, sturdy draft horse supported the knights in their heavy armor. To the Middle East, where the light, swift Arabian became the pride of the desert. Across the world, the horse became the vehicle of empires, expanding the territory and transforming the people. The fine steeds of the conquistadors, named Mustangos, would be no exception. It transformed our, our people. Our people were some of the first to uh, utilize the horse. We went from um, from basically having to walk to acquire everything to we became raiders. We raided other tribes. We traveled further for big game.